Nintendo. Hey, Poke fans! Wait, this isn't Pokemon. What are we doing here? That's right, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. This is my first non-Pokemon Let's Play, and I'm really excited to be sharing this with you because this game has a lot of memories. Back when I was a kid, this is the first Mario game I ever played, and it's the first one released. I played it on the Game Boy when it originally came out, and let's let the dialogue roll. I wish to improve my kingdom's ties with the Mushroom Kingdom. I bring a gift from Queen Bean. The witch's cackles. And that weird bean thing's headgear. The castle is now in turmoil. The villains have escaped into that weird ship. E e emergency situation! Did you see the kingdom courier? Mario! And we actually get to play as Toad in the beginning. Um. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. All roads lead to the same kind of path into the open bathroom. Hmm, I hear humming. Eek! And the solution to this problem of the fainting is to jump on the toad. P princess P -p Peach. P -p princess P -p Peach. <laughs> Luigi getting dragged by the clothesline. This music will- you'll be accustomed to this music. <laughs> Luigi hits him and then Bowser blames Mario. Attacking me when my back's turned, huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward bros. Alright, this is our first battle. I already know what to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So when you hit A, you have to hit A at the second that you actually strike the enemy to do that much damage. You can also avoid enemy attacks. Every enemy's attack in this game can be avoided. Some attacks are more complicated than others, but we'll talk about that as this progresses. Luigi's kind of our cheerleader. And he's nodding, like, good job. You're okay. The Bowser is just patiently waiting for the, uh, for the tutorial. Okay. And then, bye bye. Luigi's reactions. And of course, that doesn't actually phase him. We didn't actually defeat Bowser or anything. Huh? Well, wait a second, listen. This is no time for fighting, even though I would have won. Listen to me, everyone. Something terrible has happened. The goodwill ambassador from our neighbor, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. Yeah, but it was no friendly visit. The ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. A and replaced it with this explosive vocabulary. <laughs> I don't even know how that's possible, but... Gah, if I kidnap Princess Peach in this state, she'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Didn't you just call us the super coward bros? Let's milk that for a second. Mario, please, go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. Wahaha, <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend and get back Peach's voice, and then I can kidnap her. We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bean Bean Kingdom in no time. Mario, we leave immediately. 
Run for your lives! I feel like that explosion would have actually taken out the castle. So, off on an adventure yet again. I just hope your long vacation hasn't left you out of shit. That's rude. That's kind of rude. Okay. Yes, we have some minor things to do in the plaza area. So this is the Mushroom Kingdom, which you might know based on, you know, all the toads in the mushroom uh, figures. And the neighbors that we're going to be encountering are the Bean Bean Kingdom. Hey, that's it. That's the precious belonging I've been looking for. Thank you. You are the best. The best. Please take this in return. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the town square. And of course, he's going to ask for the mushroom back. You want to give it to him. It's nice to be nice. And also, he's going to let us keep it as well as giving us a super mushroom in return. Okay, let's see. Mushroom. These guys have some things to say, but this is all tutorial stuff, and I honestly have been playing this so much that I just want to get done with it. Now, this guy is going to ask you where the Koopa Cruiser is going to embark from. You want to tell him the truth, because there's a reward in it for, for you later. You want to say north, because that's where it is. Okay. Luigi's super excited. What did I do to the Mario? Not a do to the Mario. Okay, yeah. So he's like reluctantly, Luigi's like reluctantly following you from a distance. And this is called a save album. You're going to want to save as often as you can. And I love how much thought they put into like each of the names of things. This is Toad Town Square. And we are currently at level one, which I'll, I'll try to update eventually. Um,. I don't really know what to put up here, though. Like, I have Mario, I have Luigi, and I guess as we get more equipment and gear, I'll start filling that out. Mustard Mario! It would appear I'm just in time. I have prepared a suitcase for you to take on you with your, your uh, long journey. I'm quite sure it will prove useful as it holds many items and outfits. Please take it. That suitcase is going to come in handy. I don't know how we're able to lug that around, but... Now then, I have one more parting gift, as it were. Some funds for your trip. Here you go. We got a hundred coins. Mushroom coins, by the way. Oh, gracious. Ma Master Luigi, are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? Ah. You're just seeing Master Mario off. A capital idea. I do believe I'll join you. Master Mario, I'm going on ahead. I shall be waiting for you in front of the Koopa Cruiser. I started off with an Indian accent for Toadsworth. I'm thinking more of a British accent now. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Well, this is the guy we talked to earlier. He's early. Mario. You're late. What were you doing? We're leaving right now. So get on board and make it snappy. <laughs> well, so, what do you think? Incredible, isn't it? This is my newest weapon, the Koopa Cruiser. Hmm, yes, very good. Now all I need is my baddi are my baddies. Bowser baddies. Gah, where are they? Huh? What in green blazes? Hey, you, are you signing up to join my crew of Bowser baddies? And he's waving like he's saying yes. I see, I see. You want me to bring you along that badly, huh? Hmm? Yes, you. Gahaha. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Don't be modest, Mr. Green. I mean, you look like a real pain, but I'll take you anyway. You must be really desperate for recruits. Hey, you, stop. Your gnarliness. The baddies have just arrived. Hey, the assembly area is over here, you blithering idiots. All baddies have assembled. We shall now begin boarding the Koopa Cruiser. 
Wahaha, good. Then we can depart. And with an increased headcount, too. Excellent. Is he talking about Luigi there? Your filthiness. Sporting is now complete. Except for one deserter. <laughs> They're still talking about Luigi. I love this cutscene. That hand from the Koopa Cruiser is like, like squeezing the life out of Luigi. Like, I don't know. I just... Poor Luigi. He gets treated pretty well in this game, I would say. Luigi's just sulking over in the corner. Oh my god. Yeah, someone's making an announcement over the intercom. Okay. So might as well save. Koopa Cruiser hold number one. Guess there are multiple sections. Okay. So, everyone here is like taking, uh, well, I don't know what they're doing actually. So they added a new member, which I'm assuming is Luigi, who is apparently in training until they land in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Or maybe they're talking about a new new member. They have to be talking about Luigi. Okay, so these blocks, it doesn't matter who strikes it first, but you want to alternate really fast. But you don't want to alternate too fast, because if you do, then like your, 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 your console can only go so fast and you're not going to get enough coins. So you just want to be consistent with the rhythm. So A, B, A, B, A, B, instead of trying to like mash the buttons. Okay, now this is kind of the photo deck. Uh, you're going to need passport photos, right? So when the save album recorded your journey so far, it was like just a silhouette. Right, so you actually need legitimate passport photos, otherwise you're not going to get into the Bead Bean Kingdom. Well, it looks like you've got a suitcase there. Tell you what, go ahead and press select to open your suitcase, okay? This is embarrassing. I'm using an emulator and I forgot what button the uh, select is. So I'm just kind of mashing all the buttons. Okay, sorry about that. I had to assign a button for select, which is the letter W apparently. These are your passports. But, hey, there aren't any photos. These won't get you into the Bean Bean Kingdom. No sir, no way, no how. Don't wig out about it, though. If we take your pictures here, you should just be just fine. Yeah, like, I believe there's a legitimate uh, passport photo um, on board the Koopa Cruiser. This isn't a CVS. They're doing illegal activities here, obviously. They're forging photos. Okay, now, while you're taking your picture, you wanna push the uh, buttons to have silly poses. It's like left, right, uh, up, down, all those kind of buttons. I'm gonna try to close my eyes and, and, and just kind of see if I can get the wackiest picture. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, I didn't see what that was. And then we need start. Okay, that was W. Now, what's the start button? Okay, apparently it's the return button. Okay, anyway. I'm still figuring this out too. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Okay. Let's see your passport photos. I'm gonna press W. Here we go. Oh, that's not very interesting. I can hardly, those aren't even silly poses. I think they're, they're fine. Okay, whatever. Now we can't really change them at this point. Uh, we can't change them for a while, but that's, that's okay. All right, so this is the guy that we actually helped out. If you didn't help him out, that conversation would have just ended there. Now he says, oh, Mario, it's me, that lost guy. Hey, thanks for telling me which way to go back in the Mushroom Kingdom. I was kind of panicking. Thanks to you, I was the first one to board the Koopa Cruiser. Here, let me give you this. It's nice to be nice. I love how he's working for Bowser and he says, it's nice to be nice. 
All right, so we have a lot of battling to do. Just again, tutorial stuff, gaining experience, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, yeah, he's gonna teach us how to fight with the crates and whatnot. Actually, I should have said no to that because I don't think we get any experience from this. Yeah. Like I said, you can dodge just about any attack. Sometimes if you dodge it fortuitously, you can actually deal uh, counter damage. It's a counter attack. Okay, so obviously you can't counterattack on things like spikes or flames. All right, there we go. I guess we did get experience from that. Okay. So now we're going to break the barrels, defeat the Goombas. I find it's best to like defeat one at a time, focus all of your efforts on one of them. There are going to be many such battles where there are, you know, two, three, even four enemies at a time. But this is a turn-based RPG. Kind of like Pokemon. Okay, when you level up, you get to pick a stat to increase. I guess I'm going to go for power. This is completely random. It looks like we got plus two power. You don't want to level up the same stat over and over again, because, or you don't want to increase the same stat because eventually the numbers will go down. Or is the max that you can increase it by? Come here, you. Ooh. Ha! Huff, harf. It's too quick. I can't catch it. I have to get ready for Bean Bean immigration. Oh, it's Mario and Mr. Greeny. Can you two help me out? I'll teach you something important about going into battle in the process. No charge. All right, here we go. So he's just explaining that sometimes, like when you're out in the real world and you run into an enemy, that's when the battle starts. But occasionally you can like jump on the enemy and deal damage before the battle even starts. Now the power increase from Mario didn't really do anything yet. Kind of takes a while. Uh, takes enough power to be able to see any tangible effects. Oh, Luigi got plus two as well. Okay. He's putting them into barrels again, which I don't even understand. I thought they were a part of Bowser's crew, right? We saw the Goombas as a part of the crew. Sometimes I kind of want to speed through this, but I kind of just want this this whole first tutorial to be one video, one chunk, which is why I'm not reading every single little bit of dialogue from these characters. But now we are on the Koopa Cruiser hold number two. Good deal. Yep, so let's hit this uh, exclamation point. Usually when you do that, something happens. In this case, you need to do it to progress the story. And it's going to somehow grab Mr. Greeny. Did that mean that Mario, like, shed a tear? Uh-oh, looks like the crane mistook you for cargo. That looks uncomfortable. Hey, since you're up there, why don't we use you as a lookout? Okay, so he was talking to Mr. Greeny. It's like giving him a wedgie. Your rancidness. We will soon pass over the border between the Mushroom and Bean Bean Kingdoms. Mm, nice work. You can go back below decks. Now. Oh. What's all the hoopla? Eh, what's with all the hoopla? I actually didn't even realize I predicted what he was going to say. Ugh, what now?
the witch. Who would have thought you'd catch up to the great Kirkletta in even a hundred million years? You, you're the fiend who stole Peach's voice. How dare you pull off such a cool evil, evil plan? Oh, I dare. Now I'm going straight back to the Bean Bean Kingdom so my next plan can take root. I have no time to chat with the likes of you. Fawful, take care of this. Hold it! Ahaha! I am the great Kakladis' best pupil who's named Fawful. I'm here laughing at you. If you are giving us the chase just to get your silly princess's voice, then you're idiots of foolishness. Princess Peach's sweet voice will soon be the bread that makes the sandwich of Kakladis' desires. And this battle shall be the delicious mustard on that bread. The mustard of your doom. Fawful is like the, one of the best characters in my opinion just because of the way that, that Fawful talks. <laughs> Next is it is the turn of you. Okay. Fawful doesn't look so good. Probably cold due to the uh, uh, altitude. Okay, so uh, as far as this person's attacks, you just have to watch the color of the words that Fawful's using. If it's red, it's gonna attack Mario. It's green, Luigi. Okay. I believe you can also look at the mouth of Fawful's headgear. If it's like spinning, it's for Luigi. If it's just like a straight creepy teeth thing, then it's Mario. And if it's, have you had readiness for this? Then he's gonna start at Mario because it was red first and then go to Luigi. All right, so eventually you're gonna uh, get rid of the headgear and then Fawful's just gonna try to ram into you, so. Okay, so on that, you can't really predict uh, who Fawful's gonna attack other than whoever Fawful's like standing in front of. Also, can someone tell me, is Fawful a boy or a girl? It's like, I wanna use the appropriate pronouns, but like, uh, how could Fingerettes like you beat such an awful nasty as me? Headgear. So Fawful admitted that we beat, okay, I'm just gonna assume it's a male. I'm sorry, I, maybe it's a female. Bah, now is when the talking stops. I do not have time to stop and smell foul roses such as you. One fell swoop is the way I will deal with you, think rats. General Starshade, a massive explosion has been sighted. Confirmation, I need confirmation. General Starshade, meteorites confirmed. Impact in Stardust Fields, initiate recon. Emergency, emergency. And with that, in the next episode, we salvage what's left of the Koopa Cruiser and our teammates. We head towards the Bean Bean Kingdom. I forgot there was this cutscene that totally ruined my outro. See you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day.